Welcome back everyone, this is Bethro Butkina 7 with some more perfect chaos. In the first and previous part, we pretty much cleared the entire thing. Although I kind of went overboard with the land. Yeah, 32 minutes, that's just insane. But yeah, anyways, so we cleared the hold. There was a story about a place that we went to. A falsility, if you will. So, yeah, now there's some secrets and then there's a two post-mastery levels, apparently, that we will be taking on after that. So first of all, we have to find some secrets. You, you, you hear me? We, we need to find some secrets. So let's uh, band together and find some secrets. Oh, there's one over there. That was, uh, that was quick. Find a roaches. There's roaches. Is there something else over there? Oh, okay. Alright, so that's just like a place to go to if you feel like going somewhere. Gotcha. So, let's find the next one. There were a few secrets I had missed, it seems. Oh, okay, there's a secret here. It's in this room, right? There's also one in the control center. Which I had to sing like that because I had to sing it like that. Also, a force arrow trap. For people who think they're funny, you're not. Let me currently do this. Okay. So there's a clown. Self-destruct device. Dang! That's a very self-destructive mentality there, buddy. Right? Yep. There's uh, that room. Let's uh, take care of that immediately. Jeez, it's barely even been two minutes for crying out loud. Same room as earlier. Alright. Okay, that was, um... Super quick. <laughs> well, with that done, we can now take on the Postmastery. Let me just kill these golems for absolutely no reason. I am prejudiced against golems. Hate me forever until the end of time. Holy jeez, that's a lot of Master Wall. If I didn't think any better, I'd think that these walls had something against the doctor. Anyway, this was the original first room. Uh-oh, monsters. I think I got my sword. Okay, so that's the original first room. Oh, okay, there was a snake. How's that difficult, er? Here? Whatever, I'm gonna kill that mud mother. Okay, dude, you go up. Thank you. Kill that. that once we've killed that we will have killed that but before we do we should kill that all right everyone got that good now we can proceed to do absolutely nothing of work for the rest of the entirety of our lifetimes yay it's fun trust me it is anyway this room is basically the same room as the first one except now there's a snake that was red and I killed him! Oh no, it was an endangered species! We will be due forever to the prejudice of all the alien races that come to visit us and will judge us. Because that's what aliens do, they judge us. Totally not a metaphor for anything. But I wouldn't know. Because, do I know? No, I don't. What's to the north? That, that's it? I beat bonus! Oh man, I'm so happy I beat bonus. Okay, so... Now that I've beaten bonus, what will I do next? I'm just so unpredictable. Okay, what did I say? Okay, access the lower darker caves. There's gonna be even worse caves. Gotcha. Warning, these stairs are one way. You must exit deeper dark caves from the stairs into dark castle. Dark castle, but there aren't any more levels after this. Okay, so what? Is this like a tougher version of this? Looks like it. Okay, we have to stop half from dying. Or dying a half death. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, that was wrong. So what's that? Okay. 
Also wrong. Okay, let me try a different tactic. This should be a good tactic. It was a good tactic. Hooray! I like being a good tactic. Okay, so these are basically just puzzle rooms where you have to be quicker than the very generous time limit. Alright. Gotcha. That was actually pretty generous. Uh, generous or generic. Generically generous. Thank you. Okay, so there's a... Shed some light on this. There's a skipper. Why did the lights have to go out? So, what's this all about, huh? It's a raft. Okay, there's literally nothing going on here. Okay. That's, uh, nice. Okay, this room is actually really simple. If you think about it. Wasn't even any iota of challenge, just kill some monsters, and it was actually pretty easy to do. Really? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I know which hold I'm dealing with, but. Yeah, no, I guess whatever. Um. Huh? Oh. Wait, what? Okay, so that literally does nothing. Are you for real? Um, I'm confused as to the point of this mechanism. It seemed like it was meant to trap me, but it doesn't. Anyway, chapter puzzle. Isn't that puzzling? Oh no, what will I do against this square? Squares are the most evilest -est shapes. In the entire the, the world place. And you can trust my words on that because I slurred my words a whole lot. So that must mean I know what I'm talking about. Clearly. Uh, okay, so okay, so that's a one-way thing, I think. I know this is like supposed to be like a dark castle or something. Dark castle, a button hope all you enter. Time for you to die. Was, I'm pretty sure there was literally no way to stop that door from closing. Anyway, now there's a clown. Evil laugh. Oh, I think he was supposed to go ha 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 Or something. That way is uh, stairs. I'm gonna go up here. Also, can someone tell me why this level has no clear rooms? Okay. Oh, the, the clown is in there. Okay. Is that supposed to be threatening? Come on, man. Step up your game. Mr. Slayer. What am I doing? Oh, it's an art puzzle. Oh, I had already solved it. Well, that was, uh... <laughs> I don't know what to say. Uh, that happened. Sorry to be so condescending, but to be fair, this is uh, seeming a bit anticlimactic. And again, to be fair, it did seem like the levels were trying to be harder, so I will give him that. I beat the deeper caves. Thank you. You're so kind. Okay, so what does that say? Is this the one-way stairs? So, I got a one-way ticket to the dark caves and back. That works out. <laughs> hmm. Yep, that seems to be everything. So, that was perfect chaos. What did I think? Well, that was super easy. Yeah, to be fair, that was enjoyable. I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't say it was the most creative hold ever. It really did kind of feel like I've played several holes of this sort, but it didn't do anything particularly offensive in terms of level design or any other terms. I mean, let's be let's be fair. Is I you generally don't want to be offensive, but well, maybe you do. It's up to you, I guess. I wouldn't really have anything to say about stuff that are actually things, but you know. Anyway, my point is. 
this feels like I've played holds like this before, but it didn't do anything particularly terrible. Like anything that made me grit my teeth in rage. Unlike the War series, which has had a few moments of that kind. Cough, Roach Queen Rooms, Cough. But I, I'll, I'll, I'll digress. I don't want to start ranting for 12 minutes on that. So, yeah, 7 seems a bit much, but... Yeah, I think 6 is a good rating. It seems kind of low, but... Overall, like, I don't know. Didn't do that much. That, would, I, that I didn't see in these kinds of holes. It had a pretty basic story. That she seemed was kind of, I don't know, very vague? There weren't many details filled in. There's a dude. Who was that guy? I guess we killed him or we could have let him escape. Although I blew him up with a bomb, so... And then he was in a cage, so... <laughs> yeah, I guess he has multiple lives. Good for him. Or her, or whatever. <laughs> Rate this hold. It has been rated, and this guy steps on a scroll. This has been Beethro but Kina 7 with Perfect Chaos by HyperMe. HyperMe is actually working on a hold, temporal adventure right now, and it is gonna be pretty much way more difficult here than this. So yeah, I'm looking forward to most likely playing that in the near future whenever that releases. Maybe not exactly when it releases, but very soon to that. Maybe. We'll see. Anyway, I'll see you in the next part. Until then, have a nice one!